Despite the many challenges caused by the COVID-19 virus, the management and the staff of the Clifton Hunter High School have worked diligently to ensure that the necessary plans are in place for the 2020 external exams. This presentation has been designed to offer our candidates additional useful and relevant information to help to ensure the success of their exam season. So what are the examination dates and times? The examinations officially begin on July 13 and they end on August 4. Morning exams begin at 9 a.m. and afternoon exams begin at 1 p.m. Students are required to arrive 45 minutes before the start of each exam. This means that for the morning exams, candidates should arrive by the latest 8.15, whereas for the afternoon exams, candidates should arrive by 12.15. Now, let's take a quick look at our examinations timetable. Now, all Clifton Hunter High School candidates have been given individual timetables. If you have not collected yours, these may be collected at the Clifton Hunter High School front desk. Now, our individual timetables show clearly when each exam will be administered. As you will see, the dates are clearly indicated. The timetable also indicates the start time for the exam, the subject, the paper, and the duration. So for example, on the 15th, we can see that the geography exam begins at 9 a.m. It is a paper one exam, and it will last for one hour and 15 minutes. Just a quick note, please be sure to double check your individual timetable against the master timetable from CXC. So, what do you do when you have an exam? All candidates should use the administration building entrance. Candidates will be required to line up just outside the administration building, of course, observing social distancing protocols. Markers will be provided on the ground to help you in this regard. A staff member will let you know when it is your turn to enter the building. Upon entering the building, you will collect your examination card, which contains some very useful information. Let's take a look at an examination card. So here, you will notice that your examination card contains your name, your candidate number, the subject being done, your assigned room, your assigned seat, and also your username and password. Now, of course, perhaps the most important detail here is your assigned room, because this is how you know what room to proceed to once you have collected your card. Now, your username and password will be used to actually access the online test. As the third point indicates, you will then proceed to your assigned examination room. Most of our exams will be administered in the academy buildings. If your exam is on the lower level of the academy building, you will use the 108 entrance. However, if your exam is on the upper level of the academy building, you will use the 208 entrance. Once you've arrived at your assigned examination room, you will line up outside observing social distancing protocols. Markers will be provided on the ground to help in this regard. At the appropriate time, a staff member will indicate that it is your turn to enter the building. So what are the CXC testing modalities offered for this examination season? As CXC indicated several weeks ago, most subjects will be administered via the e-testing modality, that is, on the computer. However, there are some subjects that will be offered via the paper-based modality. These subjects are English A, 
EDPM, and mathematics. Please note that all exams will be done at the Clifton Hunter High School. Now, there are some exemptions to the CXC exams process. For most subjects, candidates will only be required to do a paper one exam. However, for Spanish, human and social biology, and visual arts, candidates will be required to do additional components. For Spanish, candidates will be required to do an oral exam, paper one, and paper two. For human and social biology, candidates will be required to do paper one and paper two, while for visual arts, candidates will be required to do a reflection journal. Spanish candidates, please note that your oral exams are scheduled for July 14. Exam Administration and Logistics All exams will be administered according to COVID-19 regulations. This means that inside the examination rooms, social distancing will be observed. We have also imposed room occupancy limits for our candidates' protection. Let's take a look. As you can see, in our computer labs, we have a maximum capacity of eight candidates. This means that candidates will be seated six feet apart as they sit their exams in this room. There are some exams that will take place in the classrooms. As indicated here, candidates are also seated six feet apart to ensure their safety. Other important details. Rooms will be sanitized after each examination. School buses will be available for those who indicated that they require the service. The school canteen will however be closed for the entire duration of the exams. Candidates are encouraged to take their own refreshment. Examination Equipment Candidates are encouraged to take their pens, pencils, calculators and other necessary equipment to all examinations, whether these examinations are paper-based or e-tested. This is very important. Social distancing. Candidates are reminded that social distancing protocols must be observed at all times, whether indoors or outside. Candidates are also reminded and encouraged to wash or sanitize their hands whenever necessary. Face masks must be worn at all times once persons are inside buildings. Finally, candidates are required to wear school uniforms for all their exams. If there are any additional questions, please feel free to contact me via telephone or via email. On behalf of the principal and staff of the Clifton Hunter High School, I wish you all the best in your exams. May God bless you.